Good morning, my friends. Today is the 31st of December, uh, New Year's Eve. And I'd like to wish you a very happy New Year's. Um, I'll be sharing the devotion from Jesus Calling today along with the few scriptures that accompany it. Um, before I read this, I'd just like to take this time to let you know that I know that my Redeemer lives and I'm so grateful for him. And as we go into this new year, I want you to know that I love you. And I pray that the words that I share with you um, help you as much as they help me. Because doing this in the morning really sets the tone for my day. So I appreciate you guys who, who've you know, watch the videos that I posted on here, and, and I pray that the Spirit just witness unto you that Jesus is the Christ. That's the only thing that, that, that I hope to accomplish, is to bear testimony of Jesus Christ. So today, um, the devotion reads, As this year draws to a close, receive my peace. This is still your deepest need. And I, your Prince of Peace, long to pour myself into your neediness. My abundance and your emptiness are a perfect match. I designed you to have no sufficiency of your own. I created you as a jar of clay set apart for sacred use. I want you to be filled with my very being, permeated through and through with peace. Thank me for my peaceful presence, regardless of your feelings. Whisper my name in loving tenderness. My peace, which lives continually in your spirit, will gradually work its way through your entire being. The scriptures that are associated with this devotion today that accompany it are Isaiah 9, 6, which says, For unto us a child is born, Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. <laughs> and next is John 14, 26 through 27, which reads, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. What words of comfort are those? The last scripture I'd like to share with you is in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, which says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. As you go into this new year and you set goals for yourself and you, and you look to grow with the next year, I pray that you remember that you are a vessel of the Holy Spirit of God and Jesus Christ died so that you may be filled with the Holy Ghost in this life and that you may have salvation in the life to come. I pray that you all be kept safe and that you have a wonderful New Year's. I leave my testimony and my witness that Jesus Christ lives and that he loves you. Peace be with you, my friends.